gain a YouTube partnership with Cable Line Network today. Applications in the description below. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm chilling out, Max, now doing my thing in GTA 5. Okay, y'all. Now, this right here is the coding for the heist planning room. Yes, as you see, you can send emails through your phone, the printer, file cabinet, planning board. Ooh, happiness, happiness, happiness. Now, this is awesome, seriously. Now, basically, heists are speculated to come out this month, or I believe it's going to come out next month. But hey, it could roll around with the PC release. To be honest with you, nobody knows. There isn't a YouTuber anybody knows when Heist is coming out. Everybody's guessing. Hopefully, this will actually come out um, this month. It's probably going to come out later this month, or I'm speculating it's going to come out in February. But I will make sure to keep you guys updated on everything that is happening. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's focus a little bit more on the Codex. Now, what really caught my eye, no joke, would have to be the function to hide the planning board during currently unknown situations. Now, this could be so other players can't come into your apartment and see your plans. This could also be a variation to where, let's say you are actually planning with one of your friends or the crew that you want, and somebody rarely joins in. Now, let's just say, I'm giving hypothesis, people. Let's just say, if a player joins into your heist and they're able to view your heist information, they might actually be able to take your heist spot. That, or they could do um, a heist of their own in a similar fashion. Hold up, wait a minute, let me put some biscuit in it. Hold on, I just thought about something, people just thought about something. What if, what if, stick with me, people, what if, let's say if a player joins into your heist, the reason why you can hide that is because when they join in and they're not part of your heist and they see that, they can get that information to cops for money. Yes, giving other players heist information to cops for money, being able to throw other people's heist. That would be badass. I'm sorry, that would be so badass. I mean, people are gonna say, well, if it happened to you, it won't be badass. Hell yeah, it would be badass. Come on now, I joined GTA to go in complete wars. Now, this would be awesome. I am like so pumped, this came to my head. Oh my God. If you can hide the board because if other players see that's not part of your crew, they can tell the cops on you. That is amazing. I'm sorry, that would be the best thing they could have brought into the Grand Theft Auto franchise ever. Also see the fact that you'll be able to send heist related information through your iFruit phone. Now that is pretty badass. Now I actually like this part right here. The fact that you will be able to send emails through your phone which is going to get players a little bit more interactive with the whole phone. Now if you think about it, players don't actually know this. There's a lot of players that don't know this. You can seriously call another player from your phone. You can. You can send them text messages and everything. You, won't be, you will be surprised of how many people were shocked when I said that I'll call somebody on their phone. They're like, how the hell you do it? I'm like, you realize this function has been in here since the game came out, right? Now, the only other reason they will have phones in multiplayer is so you can interact with other players and do missions and such like that. Now, in the middle of a fight, you're not going to be texting nobody. You're not going to be calling nobody. So, you know, that is really sick, though. Now, you'll be able to actually use your phone to send heist information. And if it also doubles back with my whole, you know, theory about other players will be able to interfere with your heist by giving the police information about the heist that they've seen and for a monetary gain. Players will do that like no crazy. Seriously, players will do that. I know, put in the comments, would you do that? I know. Now, basically, I am looking forward to this. I really am. Now, put in the comments about everything that I've said. I want to hear what you guys have to say in rebuttal. Seriously, if you have a different opinion, okay, put in the comments. I still want to hear you. Why? Because you're my subscribers. You rock. Seriously, I wouldn't be doing this if it weren't for you guys. Legitimately. So, if you want to put some in the comments, don't be afraid to. Just go ahead. Put in the comments. You guys rock. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe for more. I upload daily content of GTA. Yes, daily. Multiple videos a day. Keep you updated on everything that's happening with the GTA community. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. This has been Cable Line Network on a Glenn Duncan here. Check out our Minecraft server, our YouTube partnership, and our Twitch sponsorship at www.cablelinenetwork.com. Or you can just check the link in the application below. Yes, applications in the link below description. All right, peace out, y'all. Talk to you later.